Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and today I want to make a prayer journal. I know, I said I wasn't going to, and then I thought, well, why not? It doesn't have to be so elaborate. It can be just as elaborate as we would like it to be. So what I did was I printed out my multi-page file for the prayer journal, which is available on my coffee page for free. So one file is two sides, two pages. So this would be one page and then this would be the other. So then you just have to allow for double-sided printing and so once I print it, I end up with four, um, four sides of a page because I'm going to make it this size. This is eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to fold all of these. All right, so if you wanted to, you could add additional pages that were different. You could, I mean, you could print this out on whatever paper you like. Um, I just used regular copy paper, printer paper. I didn't coffee dye it either, I just left it. How about that? I just felt like that was fine. All right, so then I'm going to just make sure that it's kind of flat. Okay, so I guess I got it, I interrupted myself. When I printed when I printed these, there's four days, one, two, three, four, on one sheet. So to get a month's worth, I made eight sheets. So that's that gave me 32 sides. And so that's how I came up with this number of pages. All right, so then, I thought it would be easy enough just to do like a a simple signature. It doesn't have to be um I mean there's different ways of doing a signature. This doesn't have to be very strong, so I was thinking two holes would probably be sufficient. Um so basically I just need enough to Go in and then tie it. You can tie it on the outside, you can tie it on the inside, whatever direction you want to go in will be fine. So I will, however, attach it to the to the cover right away. So I'm going to work on the cover for a bit and then I'll come back. Okay, these flowers are actually a lot of fun to make. And they're so simple. I just mixed up some acrylic paint and I didn't have a light blue, so I added some white 
to the lightest blue and I'm just going around in a circle here trying to make what look like petals. And yeah. I made lots of paint, so I figured I may as well just keep going. And to this will add texture. Which is nice. And I'm thinking I'm going to go... Maybe I'll do some on the back too. I was thinking I'd like to go off the page over here. And in a couple other places as well. So you can obviously decorate your page, your cover, the way you like. Just keep going until you like it. You don't have to do acrylic paint, of course. You can do whatever you like. It's still kind of spring over here, so these remind me of those um, cherry blossoms. Although I've never seen blue ones. I picked blue because I thought blue, this light blue and this um, craft color would go well together. I'm sure there's other colors that would go as well. But... And two, they tend to blow off in the wind, so... Anyways, nothing fancy. I just wanted to try that anyways, so. And what I also like is if you don't mix the paints together completely, you get like variegated, which I like too. Gives it the illusion of depth. No, I'm not a painter. I just like to play. All right, so now I have to wait for this to dry. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun. Okay, I think it's done drying. All right, that'll be sufficient. Um. So for the cover, you need a piece of paper that's going to cover as much of your papers as you want. Um, I ended up using a edge punch to trim my pages a little bit. 
they're not quite lining up, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Although they are pretty, I didn't do it for the prettiness of it either. That was just kind of a bonus. I tried to um, trim the papers with my X-Acto knife and I, I'm not very proficient with that. So I went with this and they still stick out a little bit. And I have paint on my hands, pardon me. But. So you need a cover, like I said, that's going to cover as much of the pages inside as you want it to cover. Um, there's other ways to do this also. One thing you could do is add lace or ribbon to the edge of your pages if you wanted to. Because this journal is for me privately and it's only for a month, like there's only, it's, it's a month's worth. And they're sticking out a little bit. And the only reason it bugs me is because it reminds me of those Amazon envelopes when you rip them in the wrong place. You have um, things sticking out. So I'll probably will put something in there at some point. But anyways, I haven't thought about it. So I'm not going to do it right now. But I will do the signature because I had that planned. So I'm just going to roughly attach these. I should have made sure that all the pages were right side up. When they have writing on it, it does matter. Okay, so good. So this is just a simple project. This is nothing really fancy. This is just quick. All right, so I'm gonna put two holes in here, roughly there and roughly there. position it. All right. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that I can see. All right. So what I want to do, I think I want to tie it on the outside. So I'm going to come in from the outside. leave some of the string or thread. This is um, wax coated thread. So I'm gonna come back this side and then I can take the needle off. Adjust that there. And then I can basically tie knots. Okay, that's not. It let me tighten it somewhat, but. Okay, so not difficult, but I think it probably would have been easier if I had done the three hole. 
Oh well. Live and learn. I think I just got it a little tighter. That's good. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bow. Cause why not? There, and then if I wanted to, I could add some little centers. So there we go. You could put a pocket in there. Just seeing if I have something that would do for a pocket. I don't right off have a pocket in front of me, but what I do have is some of these altered paper clips. And that could be like my bookmark. Did I lose a piece? No, I just used different. Um, I made these a while ago. I haven't haven't really done anything with them since. my journal day journal making days are missing me sorry just playing around a little bit this is kind of a interesting one I'll take this one this is a hidden paper clip with a tab on it and so I can use this as well in fact, I like this one because although it's pink, it reminds me of the blue. All right, so that's that. And that'll stick out the top. And, um, or I could make it stick out on the side. I could even do it on the front. In fact, I could even use that because it's so skinny. I could use that to, to hold my book closed. And yes, it's not perfect. If you want perfect, go buy yourself a prayer journal. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think what I would like to do is just ink the, um, the cover just to give it a little bit of definition if you don't have ink shoe polish would work like that. I didn't put my name on it, but you sure could. My writing isn't very straight. That's all right. I'm all right with it. It's a little bit pretty and it might be enough of what it takes to actually get me to use a prayer journal. So there we go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you try that. Let me know if you do. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.